Howdy, hi, hello, West Monroe. There are only two days left in this week. The canned food drive ends tomorrow, and it is time to join the basketball student section. All this and more today on K-Rep, so stay tuned. Good morning, West Monroe. I'm Mary Allison. And I'm Imani. We have your morning announcements. The next girls' soccer match is at Cato Magnet tomorrow, and they also have a big match coming up Friday at Rebel Stadium versus Bird at 530. Please try to come out and support our soccer teams. Remember, admission is free for WMHS students, so get out there, guys. we got to have a big student section. Yeah. We know Bird will. Uh, yearbooks will be sold this week for $70. This will be the last sale. If you're using credit or debit cards, you need to follow, go to the following website and search for West Monroe High School and order from this secure site. The site is www.balfour.com. If you're paying by cash or money order, you can purchase them in Miss Whitlock's room during the announcements or at lunch. No checks are allowed. And again, that's on the sixth wing, not in here. Yeah. Our club, you will have a meeting today from 315 to 430. You will be touching up the signs at the football stadium, so where is something that you can paint in? For the ACT, a photo is now required on your admission ticket for identification purposes on test day. If you are testing in December, the photo upload deadline is today at noon. If students miss this deadline, your registration will be canceled and they will not be allowed to test. This policy will be strictly enforced. I know I need to upload my picture for that 36. Yeah, me too. You know. Uh, senior class members are encouraged to apply for scholarships from the Jason Paul Cameron Foundation. This foundation was established in memory of Jason Paul Cameron, a former West Monroe High School student and Rebel Band member. For more information and or applications, visit the Career Center. Applications are due March 15th to guidance. Character Counts members, all members need to bring at least one school supply item, pencils, pens, notebooks, loose leaf paper, index cards, etc. to Ms. Williams room by 1218. Uh, this deadline has been extended to Thursday, so bring those school supply members. Also, Character Counts members, your next meeting is today in Mrs. Grant's room, 1217, to discuss the Christmas party. If you miss the morning's meeting, the next meeting time is 315 today, so make sure you get out there, y'all. The school-based health clinic has been giving been out of flu shots, but they have gotten some in. Come by the clinic, which is near the ROTC building, and schedule your shot today. Don't forget, you need to be registered with the clinic to get this shot. And uh, now we're going to send it over to a, for our friends at ABC for a special reminder on why you should just get that flu shot. So check it out. We turn to a health alert from the nation's top doctors. Flu season has begun weeks ahead of schedule, and it's promising to be a bruising year for the flu. But ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, says there is a smart way to take care of your family tonight. You may get something you don't want for Christmas, a nasty flu. Today, the CDC announced flu season, which usually starts in January, is already coughing and aching its way across America. The earliest flu season in a decade. The strain of flu that's most common so far this year, H3N2, has been associated with more severe flu seasons and more very young and very old people getting severely ill. Five states, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and Texas already have widespread flu. Missouri and Georgia aren't far behind. More people with fever than in some flus, body aches, sore throat, nasal congestion, and headache. But there's good news. This year's flu vaccine is a good match to fight this year's bug, which means you should be getting something else for Christmas a little early, a flu vaccine. Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News, New York. We're back. Um, ULM will be offering additional dual enrollment courses in the spring. These classes will be online courses, so see your guidance counselor for more information on that. I'm going to check that out. Yeah. The boys' powerlifting trials will be next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, December 12th through the 14th. Trials will stop, start promptly after school at 315 in the old gym weight room. Attire is athletic shirt and shorts and tennis shoes. So don't try and whip out those booty shorts. <laughs> Student Council, any member who still needs to complete their community service for the first semester can come by Mrs. Green's office today to sign up to help with the food drive. Also, all members should bring their cans to Mrs. Green's office by Thursday morning. And that's 10 can, guys. 
Don't forget the canned food drive is continuing through Thursday. Get your cans in today and help people in the community enjoy this holiday season. The class that brings the most cans will be rewarded with either donuts or pizza. Mm. All right, Rebels, k -Rep is starting something new, our own trending topic. Um, if you would like anything else to be mentioned or have any suggestions for the k -Rep staff, please tweet your suggestions and use the hashtag k -Rep Talk. That's hashtag K-R-E-B Talk. So uh, we'll be looking, guys, by the minute. Hashtag k -Rep Probs. <laughs> and, and now we're going to leave you with our very own state, uh, state champion competition cheerleaders and their winning routine. So uh, congrats again, girls. That's all we got for y'all. Only 13 more days till Christmas. Woo! Have a good School day. School days, that is. <laughs> Bye, y'all. West Monroe. Rebels.